Hello everyone and welcome back. So in this video I'm going to show you step by step how you can create this balloon text effect using Aldini and Balloon. So let's get into it. So with a fresh Aldini scene let's start by dropping a geometry container and a font and I'm gonna write CGS for CG sides and I'm gonna pick a different font that has some rounded corners so let me pick the font so this is the font I'm going to use is a bit more rounded and it will work better for the effect so let's extrude it and we will extrude about 0.2 and I'll put the back then I'm gonna create uh, VDB from polygons so we can round it because right now it's just too sharp we can bevel it but it will work better with a, with a VDB conversion VDB from polygons and let's say 0.01 and now we will smooth it out so let's first convert VDB to polygon so we can check the final result so as you can see it's not looking great let's smooth SDF now it's looking better let's say we want 10 and after the smooth I also want to erode it so let's put down a reshape and let's erode it by something like this should be fine so we're going from this this and now this geometry is not the best for simulation let me just save this quickly so as I was saying this geometry is not ideal <coughs> so we will remesh and let me check the amount of remesh I used so point 0.075 this should give us enough resolution and now we can start our vellum simulation so let's just organize this and put down a vellum configure balloon this will create the vellum clot and the pressure constraint and <clears throat> let's create a vellum solver and if you hold down J you can drag and connect everything I'll just wait a bit and let's check the result and this will fall down we will need to remove the gravity so let's remove the gravity <coughs> and we will need to set up some things in here so to start with let's go to our vellum cloud and what we need to do is to play with the rest length scale of the stretch so in this case I use 0 0.1 1 1.18 and let's see what that gives us nothing too much and we will also 
increase the, the stretch to 10,000. And while we're here, let's decrease this, the band stiffness to 0 0.01. Let's see what that gives us. That is giving us this result, which is a bit too much and not very controlled. So what we can do is to play with the vellum pressure. So let's go to the vellum pressure and we can say the wrestling scale, let's try 50. And we will just use one frame. So we could actually use just this frame, the previous one. So as you can see, we already have the effect. This one is a bit too much in my opinion. So we can use this one. As you can see, it's creating some nice wrinkles in here and here. So I think I'm going to use this one. And now let's create a Valon IO to, just to, to bake the result. And we will remove time dependent cache, cache and just save to disk. Now we can just have it free, uh, the frame freezed. So let's create an all just for demonstration purpose. I'm gonna render this out. So we can go to Solaris and it's soft import and let's import the geometry. something like this and let's create a material library and inside let's do a color material builder let's out of fill and assign to everything now we can create a dome light oops dome light and let's say it's a lot long and I'm going to use Christmas Photo Studio from HDRI Evan or Poly Evan, I mean. And let's create a camera settings. Let's change it to XPU, give it some quality. And we can increase, increase the diffuse limits, reflections and refractions is fine. Let's test this out, Karma XPU. And let's get rid of the background. So display environment lights as backgrounds turned off. Let's change it to dark. Let's go to render and say viewport size. That way if we have a camera we won't render the full resolution but just the portion of the viewport. So, but in this case I'm not even going to bother creating a camera. I'm just gonna do a simple material. So let's change this to some RNG and increase the metalness and increase a bit the roughness so yeah guys it's basically it nothing too complex as you can see it's just really easy to set up and I hope you have learned something new let me know in the comments and I'll see you soon. Thank you.